welcome welcome back to my channel this is Trish from Trish's creative treasures um, today is January 19th it's sometime in the p.m. I have no idea what time it is um, it's Mon. no it's Sunday um, it's actually off today it was really 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 nice yes um, but I do want to thank you all for coming here and being a part of my journey. Um, if you are here for the first time and you happen to like the content that you see, um, if you want, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you a part of my, my yarn journey. Um, and if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the little notif notification bell. That way you can get notified for every time I put up a new video. And if you also like what you watch, go ahead and hit that like button. Leave me a comment. I'm always open for some good conversation. Oh, excuse me, guys. So my leave of absence that i've had since my last one which i was all like my last video i'm like okay i'm done having a break i'm gonna be back at this you know making videos every week like i was there for the longest time the plague hit my house um as you can hear i'm still a bit congested and nasally um my voice probably will come in and come out I talk normal for a while, and then I sound like a extremely old lady that smoked three packs of cigarettes every day from birth on. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, yeah, everybody's been sick. Everybody's had this nasty cold. I never got that cough, thankfully, because my girls have been coughing for weeks, and it just won't go away, and they just say it's part of the virus. It will go away eventually. Um, but everybody in this house, besides my husband and I, have now been through... The pukes and the poops syndrome and um, I'm just really hoping that don't hit me I'm feeling doomed because as you all know I've been babysitting Josette and uh, sorry I gotta fix my grays here that bugs me my grays are sticking out I don't like me in hats but I fair just hide my lucky hairdo but anyways like I was saying I get distracted um, yeah everybody's been really sick um, and I just been like I'm feeling run down and tired. I can't keep my eyes open. I sit down and I fall asleep. And um, I haven't been sleeping good at night. As you all know, I go to a chiropractor. Um, I have issues. I've, you know, if this is your first time, you have to understand that I have advanced stage Lyme disease. So a lot of times I'll be talking and I forget what I'm saying, which everyone says is old age too. But I'm on some heavy duty medications and the Lyme disease is in my brain so a lot of times I do I could just like it's gone I have no idea what's going on and it comes with the five fibromyalgia too so that's part of having fibromyalgia and a lot of the other issues that I have going on with me medically but anyways as I was saying see now I forget what I was saying um oh yeah being sick I haven't been sleeping well because my chiropractor unfortunately i haven't been able to get to see him in a couple weeks and not by my fault this time um unfortunately uh they wanted to go to work the one day at the building that they're at and it was on fire so they called me actually just the other day to see how i was doing um to let me know that it's going to be at least three weeks till they can get back in the building and to let me know that my name is one of the first names at the top of the list to call to make my appointment because the appointment that I had scheduled, I had scheduled an hour long deep tissue massage with the massage therapist there and then to immediately go see my chiropractor so the muscles were kind of loosened up a bit and he'd be able to uh, manipulate the bones a little bit better. Um, but. At this point, I am waiting and waiting. My pelvis is totally twisted again, and my hip is dislocated again. Josie, please stop. Stop. Someone's cranky. Someone's tired. Can you say hi to YouTube? Can you say hi? Nana just had to yell at her before this, so she's not happy. Nana usually does not yell at her, but no... She was choking Draken. I know she was playing, but she was actually literally choking him where he couldn't breathe. And 
she wouldn't stop so I had to yell and it broke her heart that I had to yell at her because she was choking drinking. She'll get over it. Come on. I love you. It breaks her little heart and it breaks my heart to have to yell at her. I don't like to have to yell at her because I'm not mommy. I'm Nana, right? Yeah. Can you say hi to everybody? Oh, my poor Josie. Oh, stop crying. You don't want a YouTube to see you crying now, do you? You don't want all these wonderful ladies that watch me to see you crying. Wipe off the tears. They want to see a happy face. Okay, I thought, don't you want to help me show my stuff? You want to help me? Do you want to help Nana? Okay, so anyways, today, um, really don't have a, I really don't have anything finished. Because I've been doing that start something and then I see something else I want to make and like oh I gotta start this so I have two shawls um one shawl I'm not even gonna pull them out to show you because they're huge right now um and I'm in my little craft corner so I don't really have a whole lot of room plus they're in another bag I am making a virus meets granny shawl I'm actually on like my last two rows and then I got to do a border on that and then I'm done with that but it is it is a huge shawl um, and then the second one I'm making is um, it's it's off of um, Petra from Foxy Creations her five-point shawl so I'm doing not the whole five-point shawl but I'm doing the five-point shawl with some filet mesh in between and I'm going to make two of those that match and then I'm going to sew them together so I have a shell top. She makes shell tops and they're absolutely beautiful. I love Petra. I love her patterns. I mean, if you are not familiar with Petra over at Foxy Creations, you've got to go check her out. She just, she makes beautiful things and she's really into her amigurumis lately and she makes some awesome amigurumis. I mean... I can't. I'm not an amigurumi maker. I've tried and it's just, eh, I can do it, but I lose focus. I really do. So I'm going to put that down. I'm just, I've got to write stuff down so I can link or I'm going to forget. So we're going to link on Petra there. There goes the train across the street from my house. Yeah. Okay. So another work in progress for me is I jumped on the bandwagon like everybody else. Now, this isn't the first time I'm making this. I made one of these last year, and I gave it away as a gift. Um, but this is the Marley Bird One Ball Shawl, as everyone's called, the Z Shawl. But here's mine. So far, I just started this two days ago. But I am using Hershner's pastry plus it is a number three and this name it's this is called frosted and it has 743 yards in it I believe I am using yeah I'm using um, a five and a half yeah I'm using a five and a half my ball band just broke yeah so yeah <laughs> so I said uh, um, Denise from Black Ribbon Studio, she, I watched her uh, podcast before I, I came on and she started one and I'm like, yeah, I hopped on the Z train too. So who else has hopped on the Z train making Marley Birds one ball shawl? So I have had this yarn sitting in my stash forever and I decided that this is what I'm going to use for it because I am trying to not buy any yarn. I have so much freaking yarn. I don't even know where to go with it. I have yarn in shelving. I have yarn in bags and totes. I just have a really bad habit of buying yarn because it makes me happy. I love yarn. Like I see yarn and I'm like, Ooh, I gotta have that one. Look, it's so pretty, but I have been really good. I don't think well, in December, I didn't only bought yarn that I absolutely needed to make whatever I was making as gifts if I didn't have that yarn. Now, the only yarn, sorry, I have an itch. The only yarn that I have bought, which I did order this week, is bear yarn. I put a really big order in um, because 
If you've watched my last podcast, you see that I am going to get into yarn dyeing. Um, I bought a lot of the acid dyes. I have a lot of Jacquard's colors, and I got some of Dharma. Um, I've been watching, and I mean like faithfully been watching on uh, yarn dyeing. Because I'm one of those people that before I start something, I want to know that I know what I'm doing before I start it. Um, and I think I feel pretty confident. I went to Walmart tonight to get some... What, well, honey, did you hurt? I want to get some um, pots for kettle dyeing, and I got a big pan to put across my stove to do um, low immersion stuff in that. I got the saran wrap. I got a bunch of tongs and spoons, measuring cups and spoons and <sighs> you're thirsty go get your tea so I'm feeling like I am confident and I'm hoping maybe not like the first bit that I do I may not videotape what I'm doing because you know it's going to be I uh, it's going to be one of those I know what I think I'm doing but it's still going to be trial and error but um Look at Nanny's room. No, it's right there. You have it right down the floor under my yarn. Sorry, guys. Babysitting, you know. It's just a mound of hay. Uh, hey, yeah. <laughs> My guinea pigs eat hay. This is a mound of yarn here. And this is the wall. And it goes to the floor. Mm -hmm. And it's on a, like a little table. Mound of yarn of... Stuff I actually have there that I need to go through. This is my frog it or keep it pile that I have had stuff that I started a long time ago that I don't know whether I want to frog it or keep it. And if this video seems like it's a bit jumpy, I'm sorry because my brain is a bit jumpy today. <sighs> it's one of those days. It's, it's called babysitting. Having a three-year-old again, which I absolutely love. I do love, but whoo. <laughs> now I know why we have our kids when we're young. <laughs> yeah, I thought 36 was old, and I, I was 36 when I had Draken. And my oldest daughter was 16 years old when I had him. But, uh, yeah, now being, going on 46, having a little one. I mean, it does. It brings a lot of smiles to my face, and we laugh you know and I have so much fun with Josie but then there's days where it's just like you know I'm going batty today's one of those days um okay back to where I was yeah I'm in a goofy mood so just mind me um another I've been working with um yarn with uh, my cotton yarn too because I have a ton of it and I want to deplete some of my cotton yarn stash because I'm really starting to try to make room on my shelves because you know if I empty my shelves then I have every reason that I can buy more yarn right yeah but I, I am doing a couple of um, stash busting things with um, a couple different groups I am doing the Oh, it's with uh, Christy Cook at Tea Doddles, and I forget the other lady. Um, their group on Facebook, Happy Scrappy, whatever. I don't know, but each month is going to be like a different theme, and this month's theme was to make. It was called Spa Day, so I should have brought that over here. That's over on the other side of my room. The stuff that I made for my entry, I, and it's everything that you use is meant to be used with scraps of yarn not new yarn not yarn that you have that you haven't started scraps of yarn so Josie can you please be quiet I made with mine with the scraps and I used all the cotton scraps that I had at the time I made a small basket I made a washcloth I made like a medium size like square face scrubby and I also made a couple round disc like uh, face scrubbies that were with the puff stitch so that way it had a little bit more scrub to it so that was my entry in that um, and I also am in chronically crochets crystal her name's crystal um, I'm in her group on Facebook and 
every month she's going to do a different topic um so this month um it was a cow and uh valentine's day kind of colors to it um but before i get to that i'll show you the last thing on my works in progress that i got on cotton because I'm making this out of cotton. This is with my huge, I have a huge stash of I love this cotton. Um, so I am using these. This is purple and what color is this? The color name is called Delicate. So I'm just double stranding these together and I'm going to make a basket. So I actually just started this this afternoon. Only not that long ago because then my daughter broke her glasses. So we went up to Walmart to get them fixed and they were closed anyway. So, but anyways, before I rabbit trail on something else, that is another work in progress that I started. You see, I got a habit that I can't stick to one thing. And that's why I get so many. I need to learn to, I really need to learn to make myself stop doing that. Hold on, Josie's crying. Hold on. Okay, where was I? I don't remember where I was at last. Josie decided to try to get on Drake and Skateboard and fell and hurt herself. And he's supposed to have it put away and he gets it out when he thinks mom ain't looking, which I'm not looking because I'm in here with my door closed and well, anyways, okay, I'm going to stop my frustration. Woosa! So, I've been looking through my granny, granny square books. As y'all know, I've got quite a few. I'll just, I know I've showed them to you before. But these are, and I might even have some more over there in my book collection. But I have this. I really like this book. The Crochet Motif. And I got these all on Amazon. The Granny Square Flower Book. And I got... This is the second edition of the Granny Square book. I do think I have like one or two more, but I'm not sure. So, and now I don't know if I'm going to be able to do tutorials with the setup that I have. But I am considering giving it a try. So, I was kind of just playing around with some stitches and I just did this. This took me about half an hour to do, even if that didn't take me long at all. But... This is just like, now it would be bigger if I used bigger yarn. I use the, um, what is it, the stuff here. The Lion Brand Kaboo, I guess that's how you say it. Kobo, Kaboo, I say Kaboo, works for me. But it's just like a little tiny doily. Oh, I think this is so adorable. And I used um, like pink fuchsia and this is like a lavender gray. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Would you like me to start doing tutorials of just little things that I have out of the books that I have? Um, I don't think I could get in trouble for that because, you know, it's teaching me. It's not like I'm taking credit for the pattern or anything. But um, if you guys are interested, let me know. I will see what I can do with my setup to start doing some tutorials to teach you guys a few things um not that i'm the greatest person but to teach but i'm willing to give it a try um but yeah let me know in the comments underneath if you would like that all right so yarn dyeing i'm dying to get started i'm hoping maybe tomorrow um I'm supposed to be off tomorrow, but my boss had to have emergency surgery. So, yeah, the past couple weeks have been working a lot of extra hours because <clears throat> we had a girl quit back December 1st. So that has left us five people to run a shop that should have ten. And now with my boss out, there's four of us. So, yeah, it's been a bit crazy and it's been a bit hectic, but... At least we're all working together as a team to be able to get the hours put in and get the clients done when they come in. So I'm thinking hopefully when I get home tomorrow, I can possibly get some yarn soaking and get ready to do some dyeing. Not a whole lot at first. I just, like I said, I just want to play around with some stuff. But I have this whole basket right here. 
This is full of all my dyes. So, like I said, I have some of the Dharma, and I have some of Jacquard's dyes. So, I figured this is enough to get me started to see if this is something that I want to... Yes, well, I, you know what? I know I'm going to love doing it because I love to work with color. And as I said it before in one of my prior videos when I was talking about this, um, one of my specialties at work is... I love cutting hair. Short hair, you give me funky punky. Hello, I'm there. I can give you funky punky. Um, I used to have very short hair and I used to wear it very funky and punky and all sorts of bright funky colors until I got pregnant with my son and I decided to grow my hair out. So there's one thing I understand. Short hair has like its own language as with a lot of stuff that, you know, working with certain yarns it has its own language and you have to understand it in order to make it work right and color techniques it has its own language that you have to understand um and i love to do color i love to do the direct dyes which are like your funky colors like i do the purple um blue, blue green all that direct dyes i absolutely love them because there's so many ways that you can do it and so many things that you can do to make it beautiful um okay go down to tt or is she upstairs, upstairs. then go upstairs to tt okay and then ask Drake can open the door for you okay sorry um so i'll read you off the list of the colors that i have um Eventually, I want to get the full sets of all of them, but with the Jacquard dyes, I have Hot Fuchsia, I have Pink, I have Royal Blue, I have Sun Yellow, Purple, Silver Gray, Jet Black, Scarlet, Teal, Turquoise, Periwinkle, Chartreuse, Kelly Green, Emerald, Fire Red, Burgundy, Lilac, and burnt orange so that is I believe 18 out of the 40 colors that they have <laughs> okay then go ahead upstairs to Titi go ahead go upstairs and hang out with Titi for a little bit and then Dharma I just got a couple of them I have the bright aqua hyacinth pink flamingo or flamingo pink which whatever peacock blue frozen which is a blue golden straw and sour apple sour apple is a really cool color so yeah i have enough to get started plus i have all those um wilson food gels that i bought that i have yet to experiment with so i am anxiously awaiting i have um 16 skeins right now that are bare i just put in a huge order for I don't even know how many skeins. It was $180. Although I had to get to $175 to get free shipping. So, hey, why not? But I ordered a bunch of different stuff. Um, I ordered, let me see, 24, 6. I think I ordered like 60 of the mini skeins of the Super, Superwash Merino. Because with each like variegated colors that I want to do, I want to be able to do so many like minis of a solid or tonal color that you can mix and match with them um so i did order a bunch of the minis because they were on mad cheap sale so yes i ordered a bunch of um the minis of 100 percent merino super wash and then i ordered um a couple of the um bulkier packages because they were on sale it was cheaper to buy bulk than buy the piece but then other ones i bought just like one or two of each kind just so i can see like bases and what i like more and what i'd like to work with more than the others um so hoping um what it's monday so hopefully by the end of this week beginning of next week i should have that in uh, and then i can really go to town so my, uh, my husband, he's like all for it. You know, he's like, hey, that's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. So, yeah, my goal is to be able to start making them 
and if I have any giveaways, I'll have them as giveaway prizes. And I'm also going to have them up for sale, as is my stitch markers and some of the things that I make. Um, I have, I'm going to start a YouTube group page, I think. But I also have a, a group that I put up the things that I make for sale, which on YouTube that is called Trisha's Stitches. Um, but I think I'm going to start a YouTube group just, you know, Trisha's Creative Treasures, um, just so we can have, everyone can post what they've made, have um, fun conversations, and something just outside of YouTube. Uh... I'm not sure if I want to do Etsy. Etsy really sucks. I'm like, I, I like to buy on Etsy, but as far as being someone that sells on Etsy, like, it really sounds pretty sucky. And I understand you're using their flat blah, 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 platform, and you know you got to pay them something, but to have to eat away the shipping you know to have to eat away this to have to eat away that and you know you have to pay like so much per each item that you list and you've got to pay per month to be on their platform it's just like ugh. It's just, there's this one store in our town here that it is really a cute little vintage store i like to go in there and shop around but they you know take vendors to put in there so i called with just um questions of me maybe I can start putting some stuff in there you know oh my god like they wanted to charge you for a little four foot space of the wall like I would have to use wall space only four foot I would have to pay $25 a month to use that wall space and anything of mine that they would sell they would give me 15 percent the 15 percent after I'm already paying you $25 a month that's a crock of shit. Yeah, a crock of shit. And I said shit because it's shit. <laughs> yeah, no way. You know, I I'll have, I go through all the time and the effort. And my money goes into my product that I may use to make it. I'm not going to do that. I mean, because like, I know eventually I'm going to have to retire from doing my job. Excuse me, I need a drink. Um, I don't know how much more time I'm going to be able to stay and keep standing on my feet. I mean, I'm in agony when I work. And I have a lot of people say, how do you do your job? <sighs> I put a smile on my face. I go about my day. I'm hobbling around. I'm having to use my husband's cane at work a lot because my leg is going out on me. And I kind of, instead of letting everyone face the mirror, thank God my clients are understanding I kind of am turning them sideways so I can sit with my bad hip, which is my right hip, and I kind of lean up against my counter so I can put some of my weight of my hip on the counter. I'm on my squishy chair mat, and I can kind of, that helps me get through the day a lot, especially if I'm wrapping a perm, doing foils, doing color, anything that's long time standing. Yeah, that's what I do, but even so, it's becoming quite painful, and... I do not want to be labeled disabled. I'm a very independent woman. Um, I've always had a job for as long as I can, you know. Even at this younger teenage, I would always babysit. It wasn't really much of anything, but I did something to make money. And then in the summertime, um, my dad's church, they had a campground, which all the churches in their denomination would go. And... Um, we had a cabin there that we would stay in a lot over the summer. So I worked in the kitchen and, um, you had to be 13 to work in the kitchen and to serve the food and then do cleanup. So I would do that all summer long. Um, heck we had some fun times there. <laughs> yeah, we were bad. We really were. We used to drive the cooks nuts because we would take rotted food off the dishes and, uh, fling it through this big I mean big huge like metal fan that was like airplane jet mode for air in the kitchen we would stand behind it and chuck this food and it would land all over them oh man I'm surprised we 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 lived through that because we were bad it was funny as hell but we made it <laughs> yeah we were bad
I was one of those bad, instigative kids. And I was the preacher's kid. Although they say we're the worst ones. I guess so. I don't know. But, anyways. And I'm off subject again. See? I'm bad. So, okay. Finish objects. We're gonna get through this. Yes, we are. I made my little Josie. I have to tuck my ends in yet. But she wanted me to make her a little poncho and it's a little drapey and I did that because it just reminds me of like a little dress but it looks cute on her so I just did some V stitches and then as it went down I just increased in my V stitches so what I think is I'm going to put a hood on this yet for her because she loves hoods so I don't know if I can consider this a finished object or a work in progress because it is done per se, but I'm thinking because if she has a shirt with a hood, she has that hood on, she don't ever take it off. I'm thinking it'll make her happy if I put a hood on it. And plus, like in the spring or the fall that she can wear this, she can have it up if it's a windy day and keep her head warmer. So that's finished object number one. I made that and I made this in a day. I mean, less than a day. It was so fast and quick and easy to make that. Um... Let me show you what I made with, and I got yarn barf all over the place here. My corner over here is just stacked up and it's a mess. This is what I made with my, what I want to put it, what I, what I entered in with, um, chronically crochets, um, cow for the month, um, crochet along, make along. This is my cow. So I used the Bernat Pip Squeak in, let me see, colors this cotton candy. So light purple, pink, and white. This is, to me is also Valentine's Day. So this is an extra long cow. So let's do this. This here, you can wear, you wear, you know, just a big fluffy cow. Or if you want, it's also a hood at the same time. So, and this is so soft, and one thing I love about the Pip Squeak yarn is it's really stinking warm. I made Josie, she has her own blanket that she has for when she's sleeping up in Nana's room, and I made her a blanket with this, and um, <laughs> my daughter, um, she, she's, when she sits at home, she says her shoulder gets cold, and uh, that would be my daughter that lives and the one that's married. So she asked me just to make her like a long rectangle thing that she can put over her shoulders to keep her warm. But yeah, this stuff is super duper warm. Okay, I'm gonna miss, show you my messy hair here. Ah! And this is my extreme slouchy hat with this. But this is so soft, it's so comfy, and it is extremely slouchy, which I wanted. I'm um, see I look goofy in hats I barely ever wear them and you know I'm really stinking cold if I am wearing a hat but no I'm not cold tonight I've just had a hat on my head just to cover up my horrible hair my ucky hair my ponytail but yeah I am getting hot so do I have anything else that I've finished finished the only other thing I have finished, finished, I cannot show you because you'll see that tomorrow. Um, I'm going to make a couple videos and I'm going to be in this outfit. So yes, I do change my clothes and shower every day. You're just going to see a couple videos all made on the same evening because I actually have time tonight. So is there anything else I needed to show you guys? I don't think so. Oh, I don't know if I showed you guys these or not. I'm so unorganized. So I had a lady who is actually a friend. Where'd the other one go? I don't know. There's two of them. Maybe it fell on the floor. I can't see right now. I've got too much crap around me. So she asked me if I could make her, like, for her daughter and her granddaughter, a mommy and me mermaid's tail set and I did I made them not a problem took me longer than what I thought because this is just a lot of stitch work 
so this is the mommy one this is the thing and it goes down and it keeps going now I don't do mine like a sleeping bag I kind of keep extending out my stitches so that way the top is open and wide that you can cover up with a blanket and at the bottom I do quite a bit so that way you can put your feet in there keep your feet nice and warm but then you can open it up to the rest of you to keep the rest of your body warm so and I also use this mm, I use the, the puzzle is that the puzzle yarn from Premier I think it's called puzzle I always want to say jigsaw I know it's not jigsaw <laughs> You want to play a game okay Whew. off topic so anyways I have a child size one of these two somewhere here in my mess of wonderful pile of yarn and stuff that's done it's somewhere but anyways um after her worrying if I was gonna have it done on time or not I had it done like a week before Christmas and I left her know that it was done and with us you know being friends you know she they come down to Cabela's and stuff they have about like a half hour 45 minutes away from me um, they really were gonna come down here where I live or we're gonna meet like halfway uh, she left me know she didn't have the money and I'm like why are you harassing me and hounding me to get this done if you knew that you didn't have the money because I didn't get my stuff done that I wanted to make for everybody for Christmas um, because I took the time out to make those which she had asked me way before when you know I started working on it if I would make them and I did kind of forget about them um, which is in my mind you know I forget a lot of things and if you don't remind me about it I can make a note I can make a list and guess what I'm gonna forget where I made that stinking list and where I put it I, I just it, I need to find a way to make myself be more organized. That's one of my goals. I don't do New Year's resolutions, but a goal of mine is to find a way with my brain the way that it is now to be able to be more organized um, because I am trying to make a business out of what I do because I do want to have something that I can say. I'm still able to bring money into the household and I can still buy what I want what I want um, because I don't want to have to ask my husband for money I want to be able to have my own money when I want to buy yarn or if I want to go out and buy some new clothes or whatever you know it's just the way it is and plus I'm getting a new car this year in February so I'm gonna have a car payment and, well, it's not like I'm going to retire from hairdressing, hopefully, anytime soon. Um, you hear my dog whining over there because I'm not giving her attention. <laughs> but I'm hoping I have a couple more years in me, but I really don't know. I mean, the pain is getting excruciating to be at work, and it's getting harder and harder to do it. Mm -hmm. So I have really tried, I've, I've got to try to get myself organized this year and figure out what I'm going to do to be able to make a business out of this to be able to make money doing this so I can eventually be able to give up hairdressing and be able to say okay I can't do this anymore but now I'm gonna do this and I can I mean at least then I'll be able to go to craft shows you know this this or that when I work at the shop I can't do craft shows because craft shows are on the weekends and where am I every weekend I'm at the shop hold on okay Dia, will you please stop mommy will be over in a minute okay stop so yeah that is my goal to try to get like I said organized figure out what I'm gonna do how I'm gonna do it yeah, here's my dog but in a serious note yeah my, my chiropractor's like I don't know how you do it why are you not on disability because I don't want to be on disability. I mean, you know, eventually I'm going to have to apply for disability, if not for anything, more or less the insurance part of it, because that's why I can also not work, because I need the medical insurance. Just my medications alone are, whew, yeah, they're a bundle. And the new insurance we got through the new company now, it really sucks. Like, 
it doesn't have good coverage. Not like my other one did. My other insurance had really good coverage. My my prescriptions, I mean, at most, for all of the prescriptions, and I think I get like eight prescriptions a month. So for all of them, I would pay like $25 a month with our other insurance. I didn't even get all eight of them this last time. I had two more to get, and it was already $56. And I'm like, that's with the insurance? And they're like, yep. I'm like, oh my God, this is going to kill me now. And now I have copays where I didn't have copays before. And I also still have a deductible on top of copays. I'm like, oh, and it's it's not cheap to, to have it. So I know just to have the insurance that you get, like the Medicare and all that that you get when you're on disability, it covers everything. So that will be nice. But just to be able to apply for disability, I have to be unemployed for one whole stinking year like who the hell can afford to be unemployed for one whole freaking year to be able to go on disability i'm like oh my god we would lose everything i mean because with us both working my husband and i we're robbing peter to pay paul every month you know i mean i knew i know i have my spending habits but i pay my bills before i go and buy anything else you know it's like kind of like my tip money is the spending money my tip money buys clothing for the kids the groceries puts gas in everybody's cars and then if i have enough left then i can buy what i want but yeah to not have a job is kind of scary because i don't know what it is to not have a job so i don't know if i have anything else in my show i really want to get also to sewing some bags i have a bunch of material cut up and ready to go it's just getting the time to sit at the sewing machine without being interrupted because i'm still new to the whole sewing thing no i don't think my bags are good enough to be able to say i'm gonna sell these yet i am still experimenting with it and i did buy a bunch of cotton batting because i want to also make some of like the bowl cozies so that's going to be another experiment i want to learn how to sew i really do because when i made my first bag which is where is it oh my gosh i just had the thing i don't know what i did with it <laughs> that's how unorganized i am guys i've got to get organized but anyways when i made the first bag that i made i really enjoyed doing it was it perfect no, but I did it. I followed a YouTube video step by step on how to do it. So it's just going to be practice, 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 practice makes perfect. I mean, nobody's perfect at anything until you practice at it. So eventually I'm going to have sewn items and I'm really hoping that the yarn dyeing goes good and I can come up with some really cool dyeing color schemes, you know. I'm not afraid to try things that are out there with color. You know, and I understand the whole color theory and, you know, how you can match different colors and how other colors will cancel each other out. That's just going to turn to mucky yuck. So, I mean, luckily I have that under my belt where I can understand it. But, let me see. Oh, I'm going on just about 30 minutes here and I've been talking about, like, stuff that don't really matter. So, I guess I'm going to stop blabbing your ear off for the night. Um, I hope you all had a good night. Hopefully not too many of you are all snowed in. I know here we had about three inches of snow and then we had about an inch of ice on top of it. But by this morning, everything was kind of cleared up. People were driving, not a problem. And it's cold out. They were supposed to have here in PA, they're saying we're supposed to have some bitter freezing cold temperatures this week. And they're saying it's going to be the coldest week of our winter season. So I guess we'll see. Um, but I hope you all are safe and warm. And just remember, you all loved. Everybody's loved. Everybody's precious. And everybody has their reason for being here. We all have a reason for being here. And I appreciate each and every one of you that are here with me, that support me, and that kind of understand the craziness of my brain and how I get all distracted and all that. And don't mind me babbling on for a while. <laughs> but. I'm going to let you go with this. So, as I said, you're going to see me in this couple outfits. I mean, this outfit for a couple videos. So, just bear with me. Alright, guys. I love you all. Don't forget, 
subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give a thumbs up. All right. Have a great one, guys. Bye.